Greetings fellow Earthlings, and welcome to another Time Sticking YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing the preferred timepiece of our favorite Galaxy Defenders, so stick with us through the Centro and let's see exactly what's being worn by the men and women in black. Sure to be a hit in any intergalactic kegger, the Hamilton Ventura watch has been regulation attire for the MIVs for four consecutive films. Considering the history of this watch line and the 1960s aesthetic history of the Galaxy Defenders, it's an appropriate timepiece for their hot sheets driven endeavors. Each Hamilton Ventura looks like something straight out of an old timey science fiction flick. This style was driven by a space age affected generation looking toward the stars. They're beautiful, aren't they? Indeed, the first Hamilton Ventura was released in 1957 as the first retail-ready electric watch. At the time, it was more the guts than the outward appearance of these watches that really struck people. Fast forward through the latter half of the 20th century to 1997. A timely release, Columbia Pictures drops a sci-fi film for a fresh generation, entering a new millennium, while entertaining audiences of all ages. It wasn't just the quippy dialogue and quirky aliens that carried the film. Wardrobe, as the title would suggest, has a cultural and aesthetic significance to the franchise. The MIB organization began in the mid-50s, according to Agent K in the first film. Their Hamilton Ventures have followed them from that origin to the future and back again. To say the least, research was certainly done in making sure there were era-appropriate timepieces for the characters in the MIB universe. Keeping that in mind, Hamilton's retro-inspired Ventura has a timeless vision pulled from a past whose future still looks futuristic to audiences today. Although the recent release of Men in Black International has fallen a little flat for critics, the wardrobe is still on point in terms of horology and overall aesthetic. A recent addition to the Men in Black roster, Agent M, played by actress Tessa Lynn Thompson, is another character that makes it look good. Alongside her previous Thor Ragnarok co-star, Chris Hemsworth, she's rocking the most recent quartz iteration of the Hamilton Ventura. She wears it so well that the brand has her as an ambassador for all Hamilton official watch promotions of the Ventura. Thompson and all her co-stars carry the mantle of science fiction retrofuturism really well. That being said, the Ventura's sleek silver triangular case, asymmetrical tick marks, and slim black band is something that would turn heads with or without the suit. Aside from the striking watches that appear on screen, Hamilton puts out a wide variety of Ventura models for all would-be galactic agents. They currently have both quartz and mechanical models of the watch available, even featuring skeleton dials for added flair. If one wants to be a noisy cricket, or perhaps more subtle, there's a Ventura waiting for them via Hamilton's catalog. With the release of Men in Black 3, the Hamilton Ventura really got an opportunity to stand out even further in the franchise. Indeed, retro cuts were a little more suited to this time-bending timepiece. In the first Men in Black, the watches themselves did not receive the best screen time due to the width and length of the suit coat sleeves. The second film fell flat for fans as a disappointing flop, and had a similar design flaw in featuring the watches. It's a great thing that Hamilton stuck with the MIB then, because the time traveling aspect of the third film saw some sweet horological action. Specifically, Wardrobe chose to pick up actual 60s era Hamilton Venturas for all alphabetical MIB employees. The camp factor and period appropriate style tied the franchise back together, much like a Hamilton Ventura ties all MIB attire together. With modern and 60s inspired suit cuts, the watches spent a lot more time in the spotlight. The camp factor and period appropriate style tied the franchise back together, much like a Hamilton Ventura ties all men in black attire together. With modern and 60s inspired suit cuts, the watches spent a lot more time in the spotlight. As a quick aside, it seems that every other film has been a hit with critics and audiences. Perhaps any potential fifth installment of the franchise will not only see a new Hamilton Ventura release, but also an overall better reception. For some personal emphasis, this particular fan doesn't believe that the classic suit, tie, and watch style of the Men in Black has anything to blame for any failures or successes. As long as they're keeping us from intergalactic threats, who's to judge anyway? Hamilton itself seems to be pressing the red button toward the future in terms of film appearances. Indeed, Hamilton's wristwatches have appeared in over 500 movies since 1932. 
It's no surprise then that we've already covered one of their on-screen sci-fi beauties in a previous post here on YouTube. Keep your eyes peeled for more Hamilton film watches as we explore these exciting horological movie stars. And while we release new content, we promise not to neuralize any important memories in the process. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day.